Hello everyone. Today we can study about in detail about tachymetric surveying. The tachymetric surveying is actually a branch of angular surveying itself. In this tachymetric surveying, it will be measuring horizontal as well as vertical distances by optical means. The primary objective is the preparation of contour maps or plans requiring both horizontal as well as vertical control. The main instrument that are used for this tachymetric survey include our normal transit theodolite and which is fitted with an additional item that is a stadia diaphragm. And so the transit theodolite fitted with a stadia diaphragm is generally used for tachymetric survey. The figure shows the transit theodolite that is commonly used and this shows the various patterns of the stadia diaphragms that are used. And see in this figure it is given in detail the stadia hair will be consisting of an upper hair, a lower hair and a middle hair. And this stadia diaphragm will be connected to this transit theodolite and this will be used for the tachymetric surveying. So how can we define the tachymetry? It's actually the branch of angular surveying, the horizontal distances from station to the staff and the vertical distance of a point both can be determined from instrumental observation. As we can see from this figure, this we can discuss in detail later. There will be different cases for finding this horizontal distances. And this horizontal equation given here is the equation for finding the horizontal distance. This is a basic equation where this D is the horizontal distance between the instrument station and the staff station that you can see in this figure. And this horizontal distance D is given by ms plus c where m is a constant. m as well as c is a constant and this m is termed as the multiplying constant and c is the additive constant. Multiplying constant is represented by f by i. f is the focal length of the telescope and i is the intercept and um, this S is the staff intercept and C is the additive constant. Then what are the situations where the tachymetry can be used? Whenever there comes an obstacle like a river, broken ground, stretches of water etc. This tachymetry will give speed and accuracy to work. So it, it is used when accuracy required is more as well as the speed of the work is more. Then in rough country where the measurement of horizontal and vertical distances are difficult or it becomes inaccurate and slow, in that case also tachymetry can be used. Then can be also used in locating the condos and filling the details in a topographic survey and this is very fast and this we can say it is the best method probably. Then what are the advantages? Uh, as we have seen uh, when there is a wherever the ordinary theodolite survey is not possible due to some obstructions this tachymetric survey can be adopted and it is used for general survey of road, railway etc. and as well as hydrographic survey survey done in um, water bodies then then for checking distances measured by already measured by tape chain dumpy level etc and obviously it will save time as well as money then 
So while discussing all this, you will be having some doubts regarding what is the difference between the theodolite and a tachyometer. What is a theodolite? It is used for measurement of horizontal and vertical angle. Tachyometer also it is used for measuring the horizontal as well as vertical distances. In theodolite survey what happens is that the distances are measured by chain or top. We are required to go and take the chain and measure, do the measurement. But in case of tachymetric survey, no such measurements are required. The measurements of the distances can be are directly possible by just substituting in some equations. Then it is theodolite survey is suitable only in plain and hilly area with lesser obstacles. Uh, whereas this tachyometer can be used even if there are obstacles like river which is river broken ground. Then more stations are required in case of a theodolite survey whereas tachyometer survey can be completed by using lesser number of stations. Now as we have already discussed uh, the, the different type of diaphragms can be used. The figure shows three types of diaphragms that are generally available with the tachyometer. Then there can be different type of telescopes that can be used in the tachyometry. First one is external focusing, second one is internal focusing and third one is external focusing fitted with analytic lens.